Hello everyone, Bradley Mayer Harmon uh, from the Mayer Harmon Real Estate Team. I'm here today uh, to give you a market prediction on what we can anticipate seeing in the coming year, um, as well as my out outlook on the future of real estate and a kind of a recap of what we've seen over the last two years. So let's start. 2021, we saw a massive increase in market value. We're talking upwards of 30% increase year over year. So that means if your house is worth a million, now it's a million three. Uh, we saw a ridiculous amount of growth in market value, but that was largely to do with the, uh, a lot of money that came in through COVID from the government, but also a lot of spending from consumers, as well as low interest rate environment uh, created an environment where um, prices just continued to climb exponentially and outside of the norm of real estate. I typically tell people four or five percent is what you should expect on a normal annual rate of return for real estate. And obviously we saw much more than that. However, in 2022, we saw all of those gains pretty much pulled right out uh, from underneath the people who uh, purchased in that year. Um, again, real estate is not a short-term investment. It should be considered in a long-term uh, perspective. Uh, my thought process is always at minimum of five years. Hold real estate for a minimum of five years and it's a very unlikely, statistically and over time, very unlikely that you lose money. Uh, you'd, uh, and so let's move on. So what are we seeing this year? So we've seen a pullback on the gains we saw in 2021 in 2022. In 2023, we're still battling inflation. So the Bank of Canada continues to raise rates as we get into the first quarter of this year. But I do predict that they'll stop doing that at least by mid-year because we are seeing a downward trend in inflation and the Bank of Canada's prime mandate is to keep inflation at 2% and uh, we're at 6.3% today. Um, so, and we're coming down from eight. That's a significant, uh, you know, uh, change. And we will continue to see those changes uh, as we start to see the impacts of the interest rate hikes that we saw last year and going into this year. Um, so long story short, 2023 is a phenomenal year to get into real estate. We've seen values decline last year at, at a crazy pace. And we've also seen no additional growth uh, in the underlying values on real estate, despite the fact that our supply problems remain the same. So if you take away the interest rates, you take away 2022 and 2021, uh, the reality is, is we had a housing crisis before we saw the rates, uh, the values go up because of low interest rate environment and COVID and so on. And that problem hasn't gotten any easier or better for people. In fact, it's gotten worse because the builders who had committed to building a significant amount of supply have pulled back on that promise and half their promises. So we're actually gonna see an, uh, an increasing problem on supply in comparison to what we had going into the housing growth. Uh, and so I anticipate that that problem is going to continue to push uh, values in real estate upwards, as well as once we start to see the panic associated with interest rate hikes uh, diminish and we start to see people's optimism for the future uh, come back, we're going to see a push for real estate that will, um, I don't suspect it'll be the same as 2021 um, as far as values going up by 30%, but I do think that it is a phenomenal year to get your feet on the ground with a real estate investment, whether it be your primary residence for yourself or it be a rental property, these are the times that you're going to see um, a, a, a very good long-term outlook on market values. And so uh, if you're interested in getting into the real estate market for yourself, for your own family, obviously it makes, it's a no brainer when you compare it to the cost of rent these days anyways. Uh, but obviously getting a mortgage is a big part of that uh, problem and that solution. So don't hesitate to reach out to the Mayor Herman team. We are your one-stop shop for all things real estate. We will give you the download on what we anticipate in the near future, what we ourselves are doing so that you know that we're actually back the recommendations that we're giving and uh, obviously our proven track record of success uh, speaks for itself so don't hesitate to reach out to the Mayor Harmon team I do believe that by the end of 2023 we're going to start to see an upward trend in market values I don't necessarily see a massive growth in value uh, in, at all for 2023 but I do think 2024 and beyond is a phenomenal uh, long-term future investment in real estate because we've just come down from a massive decline in market values and we're going to start to see some stabilized from an interest rate uh, perspective, which was the primary reason why we saw market values decline. So overall, 2023 is going to be pretty plateau, pretty basic, no major changes. And then 2024, I imagine we'll see um, uh, some uh, increase in market values again. And I, we're going to see a lot of those mom and pop shop 
uh, you know, rental property owners and, uh, and, and institutional investors, and then just first time home buyers or people who have been putting off a move, start to get back into the market and start to be active again. And then that's when you're gonna start to see those competitions for houses come back likely in 2024. I hope this uh, has given you some insight into uh, where we see the market going. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you think I'm completely out, out of my mind, make sure to leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. If you have questions, do the same. I hope you have a fantastic day and don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel or any of our other social media platforms because we are active as best as we can and um, we want to make sure that we give you real-time information about what's going on uh, in the real estate world. I hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic 2023. I know you can do it. Remember, it's your mindset uh, that determines your outcomes when it's backed by action and that means you got to write your goals down and you got to put your mind to uh, what it is you're trying to aspire to do and um, we wish you the best of luck in 2023 and uh, we hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.